I think in regards to this Latino spin, you know, Republicans really win the game in spinning these kinds of, you know, um, sanitized, family-oriented and conservative images of Latinos as aligning them to conservative values and, and than Democrats have. And only because they've been doing it for longer. They've been doing it since 1980. Um, um, Lionel Sosa, who is this year again in charge of the campaigns, uh, loves to tell the story of when he met Ronald Reagan and he said, well, you know, I want you to, you know, turn, have Latinos vote for me. And, and he actually told Reagan, how can I do that? Latinos are Democrats. And Reagan just basically said, well, you know, Latinos are Republicans. They just don't know it. And your job is to remind them and tell them how they are. That's basically what they've been doing since, you know, aligning that kind of, you know, Latino. So, so they've had that great more experience than Democrats have, absolutely. Um, however, when you compare the 2004 campaigns between the Democrats and the Republicans side to side, you'll see that the Democrats really were doing very similar. This kind of culturalist approach to the Latino constituency, it does not only belong to the Republicans. It, both the Democrats and the Republicans have been narrowing, right? Uh, Latinos to these very particularized conventions. And, you know, even Obama, you know, in the campaign now coming up, you know, you have this kind of, you know, I'm a father like you, you know, this kind of a a appealing to this kind of culturalist family sentiment. And, and um, you know, I, I, the, 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 I guess, you know, you know, you're in advertising, you want to gain votes, but it's, it's a very culturalist um, address um, that, that reproduces, right? Um, it, it doesn't talk about the issues. It really aligns Latino values to a, to, to a more conservative agenda. And, um, and I've, I've always thought that, you know, there's nothing wrong with family values and conserve, you know, and, 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 and hardworking and all of that. Um, can you articulate those values, so-called, to different uh, agendas? And the answer is you could, but you, you really can't without alienating your base and the Democrats are also, you know, have to both both parties have to worry about how do we present, how do we touch this population, you know, how do we present them as a tame constituency that are not going to ruffle the boat too much, right? That are going to be good for the general. They're not going to really challenge anyone's positions or seats. So I think that that's what you get from all the parties: is how do you address a constituency without alienating the general vote? And, and I think this transcends politi uh, um, this transcends electoral politics, right? It hits at the core of of American society and the fears, right, that Latinos are set to represent. Um, so to me, this notion that there's a big difference between Democrats and Republican Party, it's, it's really not so much when you really see they're both are having the same concerns, right? Which is how do you incorporate or address and get the votes, right? Um, but, 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 but try to um, buffer what, what it would represent to actually bring empowerment and inclusion to, to to Latino populations in, you know, in, in, in a political agenda. And, um, and, and, this is, and this is the key thing.